you, Mad Chat. I'm Christopher Scott, and this is my five, four, three, two, one. All right, Chris, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Five, top five moments with LXD. Top five moments with LXD. Number one, So You Think You Can Dance, Vitamin String Quartet version of Coldplay's Yellow. Kind of blew things up for LXD, um, and it was just an amazing experience of um, the most amazing dancers together on the So You Think You Can Dance stage. Boom. Number two, TED Talk. Kind of going off of what we did on So You Think You Dance, we took it to TED, but this time we had 18 minutes, um, and we got to talk, we got to explain things, we got to showcase specific styles individually, and then we got to put it all together in the finale performance that uh, made people cry, apparently. As you can see in chat, he talks all about it. it. Just goes on and on about it. Number three would have to be season two finale, the Western, the good, the bad, and the raw the most epic fights we wanted to see for the longest. Dance fights, of course. We have, you know, Luigi versus B-Boy Casper, Mad Chad versus Frantic. You got Skill Methods fighting other members of Skill Methods. You got Lil C and Deuce beating up B-Boys. I mean, it was just pretty crazy. You had um, Stilo versus Cloud, epic. You have, I mean, it was, just, it was just the most epic and the most fun we've ever had. And what you don't know is John Chu shot both of those episodes in one and a half days. Crazy style. So it was like literally, the sun's going down. We have no more time. Let's go, shoot, ready, hey, go. And then we're done. And I was like, okay, cool. And that was that. And we made it epic. Number four would have to be Mess in All Seven. It was an episode that I got to direct. And um, we got to do a ballet fight dance in a supermarket. And it was just an amazing experience. It was kind of the same feeling. It was one night, an evening in a supermarket. We started shooting before the supermarket even closed. We had people going like, what the hell was going on? Yeah, it kind of um, really changed my life and, and made me really fall in love with the directing side of uh, filmmaking. Number five would have to be the Academy Awards, the 82nd Annual Academy Awards. It was just one of those moments where it's like, this is why we do this. We got to perform to all the scores that were nominated. And also too, it was, a, it was a great chance for us to work alongside Adam Shankman, who's been you know, there for us from the beginning. And it was just a great, and Ann Fletcher and Jamal Sims, like just all these people came together to put together this really beautiful show. And uh, yeah, I miss, it. I miss that, that show. Four, give us four things you would do if you were Harry Shum for a day. Four things <laughs> I would do if I was Harry Shum for a day. I would tweet me, I would tweet at Chris LXD constantly and just try to help his uh, Twitter account. Um, that's the number one thing I would do for sure. Um, the second thing I'd do, I'd probably walk around with my shirt off uh, all day and just kind of walk around the city, you know, hit up the different parts of LA, you know, kind of going in and out of flexing my abs and relaxing them just to kind of catch people off guard is something I would do for sure. Um, let's see, number three, I would probably Oh god, number three, let's see. How far can I go with this? Oh, Harry Shum Jr. Um oh, you did you did catch me off guard. You guys are good here. Um <clears throat> number three. Um <laughs> Do it! Number three, if I was Harry Shum Jr. for a day. Oh, boy. It's a big opportunity for me, and if I'm gonna come up with these things, I wanna make it a great day, you know what I mean? Look. If I was Harry Shum Jr. for a day, I'd probably, um... Give me a second. Should we cut? <laughs> <laughs> Am I wasting film here? Are we shooting on film? Are these things? I guess if I was Harry Shum Jr. for a day. Guys, why couldn't we have done the top two of this? <laughs> I, mean, I would be golden right now. Two more, two more. Um, if I was Harry Shum Jr. for the day, how many times have I said that? I probably would just keep walking around saying, I am Harry Shum Jr. for the day. Um, today, I am Harry Shum Jr. My Twitter is I, Harry Shum. Because I. 
and Perry Shum Jr. Right, for the day. One more. One more. If I was Harry Shum Jr. for the day, I would probably, honestly, go out and fight crime for the day. I think I would use my powers for good, and I would go help pull them across the street and stop people from stealing purses and killing people. If I was Harry Shum Jr. for the day, I would put an end to the crime in Los Angeles, California. Three. What are three things people may not know about you? Uh, the three things that people do not know about me. Okay. Uh, God, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. So, uh, I was in a boy band. No <laughs> <Blow> way. <away. laughs> I was. Uh, very shortly, I was in a boy band. I moved on. Uh, it is in my past, but I have done it. Whew, it is hot in here. Um, number two, um, I was hit by a truck when I was younger. <laughs> Full out. Flipped over, like knocked unconscious. I was hit by a truck. Uh, really close to Christmas. I actually spent Christmas break in bed, healing. And I actually knew the guy who hit me. It's really weird. He was leaving the friend's house that I was going to. He had a Christmas tree in the back of his trunk, going to his family, um, and had no idea he was gonna hit poor kid with his truck. And probably be traumatized for a really long time. Um, it was completely my fault. Number three is I secretly wish that I was Harry Shum. So, <laughs> so that kind of made the last question really catch me off guard because I thought it was a secret, but uh, I guess it's not. So there you go. If you directed Step Up 4, what would be two things you would do differently? If I directed Step Up 4, the two things I would do differently would be I would have definitely given the choreographer, Christopher Scott, two more days of shooting time for the uh, Office Business Plaza number. After already giving him, you know, the, the I think, I believe four days, yeah. We would have definitely done a six day uh, shoot for the office number. Definitely would have done that. Um, I probably would have put um, the character Hair as more of like kind of a leading character. And we probably would have had him, you know, kind of come in to play and, and, and um, kind of shake up things with uh, Ryan Guzman's character and um, Kathy McCormick's character a little bit. Maybe be like a third uh, piece of the love triangle. Um, I don't know, I just think it would have like, had a little more spice to it, I don't know. Um, and you know, I mean, that's kind of what I think people wanted to see. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I would have done to All right, last one. <laughs> if you had the opportunity to get with any girl in the industry, who would it be? <laughs> uh, it is hot. <laughs> Let's see. It's kind of cliche, but it would probably be Natalie Portman, but only, and, and more now so because she, you know, of course is married and has a, a baby with her husband who choreographed Black Swan. And I just w always wonder, had I gotten to choreograph on that movie, if that would be me. So <sighs> I think to just put that whole feeling to rest, it would have to be Natalie Portman. I am Christopher Scott, and I believe I have survived five, four, three, two, one. But I guess we will find out. <laughs>